I opened up this flower image that I took with a digital camera and we're going to play around with the magic wand and some of the marquee tools so that I can show you how it works a little bit. I'm going to show you a little bit about contiguous, anti-alias, and tolerance too. So first we'll talk about the magic wand. The magic wand is connected, these are the fine tuning up here on the toolbar, and of course you know if I hit anti-alias the edge is soft, it smooths the edge transition, so it's kind of a tonal edge. And contiguous means you are selecting from just one area, uh, kind of pixels that are adjacent to the sample pixel you click on. Sample all layers means if you have multiple layers on the layer palette, it will get all the layers or just one layer. So first I'll show you contiguous. Now you might not even see this because the tolerance is zero. I'll put the tolerance on one and click. You don't really don't even see it. Okay, there it is. One pixel is selected. Now I'll do control D and now I'll do 10. And there's 10 and you see how it's just in the center of the flower. Control D for deselect. Now I'll do 20. So that means 20 adjacent pixels that are closest in color to the one I clicked on. That's why the contiguous is on. So if I take the contiguous off, hit the control D, now you see it's much different. These are 20 pixels that are closest to the color I clicked on from all over the image. Control D again, I'll make it 30. There it is from all over the image. Now I'll do control D, put the contiguous on. Now it's 30 just from that area adjacent to where I picked on. Now if I want to add more, I can hit this. This is add to the selection. Or I can right click and add to the selection. And I can right click and subtract from the selection. So you can subtract or add from the collection when you're clicking. Control D for deselect. Now before I even start, if I have the anti-alias, I'm going to get a soft tonal edge. If I don't have this clicked, I'm going to get a very hard edge. So I'll click the anti-alias, I'll click on take contiguous off, and I'll click here on the flower and I'll keep adding to the selection, adding, adding, adding. In fact, I'm going to do control D and I think I'm going to try 60. Let's see what happens. There, I'm getting quite a bit with 60. So there's a lot of different tools that I can use. Right now I got some things, maybe I don't want the flowers on the outside. So if I don't want the flowers on the outside, I can take any one of my tools here, here's my lasso tool, and I can hit the subtract from the selection, and I can subtract it with the lasso tool. There it is, it's gone. I can take the rectangular marquee tool and have subtract from the selection and I can subtract it. If I hit this box add to the selection I would add to the selection. So these little tools add to and subtract from the selection are very powerful. You can use the polygonal lasso tool and you see the little minus comes in the corner minus from the selection and you can minus some things that way and you can minus this way and now I'm going to use the lasso tool and I'll say add this to the selection add this to the selection inside the flower so you see I'm just isolating the part that I want now on the side over here I think I'm going to come around the side 
and with this lasso tool and I'll say take away from the selection. Now I have the flower isolated so I'll go copy, file new, paste and I'm going to go in close. Looks like I missed some things there you can see and you, you can use the eraser for things you've missed and you can use this little red box here around you can kind of go around the edge and kind of clean it up a little bit. That's how you would do it. You would use your navigator, can go around the edge, but you still might want to do some work on the edge of this flower. Now you can notice, now there's a little white pixel there, and there's a couple of tools you can use to fix that. You can even kind of push this, see, and fix it that way. Or you could use the clone tool here can push it. It's a blur tool. Okay, so now I'm going to take the magic wand. Uh, I've got the anti-alias on and I want to select the background. Uh, the anti-alias I think I'll take off, it, but you can see the edge of the flower is soft. I'll go in closer in case you don't see it. See it? Very soft. So I'm going to select the background, the white background. You see it over there? So now I have the background selected and I want to select the flower. So I would do Control Shift I or Select Inverse and now the flower is selected. And you have some wonderful tools here under Select. They're called Modify. You can contract. You can contract by three and if I wanted to, now I have a hard edge, remember I did not have the anti-alias on, but you see some of this edge is bumpy. I can smooth the edge by going select, modify, smooth. I can have the edge smooth out, so it smooths out a little. And if I do inverse, I can hit my delete, and you see I get rid of that horrible edge. Maybe I want an edge that's kind of feathered. So now I'll go backwards, step backwards, and Control D, and I will select the background again, and now I will invert it so that the flower is selected, and I will go to Modify, and I'll contract it ag again by three. Okay, it's contracted by three, and now I'll go again to modif or feather, select feather, and I'll feather it by three. And I will invert it and hit the delete. And you see what I did? And then control D. I feathered the edge of the flower. And I made that very nice. That's if you want a tonal edge and not a hard edge. So these are some of the tools you can get a real nice look like that, a real nice soft edge. I showed you the magic wand, the tolerance, the anti-alias, the contiguous, sample all layers, and add to and subtract from. And you can use these add to and subtract from with any of these marquee tools, rectangular, elliptical, lasso, polygonal, or magnetic. These tools uh, are, the marquee tools are wonderful. Once you have this flower extracted, you can uh, go to your layer palette. You can duplicate it.